Hey, what's up guys? I am Exotic Gaming and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D weapon review. Yesterday on Twitter I ran a poll asking what video people wanted next and people wanted a review the most. So that is what I am doing today. In today's video, we will be reviewing a very cool weapon from the 11.0.0 update in the primary section called the Bee Swarm spell. Now, this is the most requested weapon review from the comment section of the last video, so that is why we are reviewing it. If you want your choice reviewed in the next video, make sure to leave a comment. Whatever weapon gets the most requests in the comment section to this video will be the weapon that we review next. But without further ado, here is the Bee Swarm spell review. Now going into the, the shop menu here and looking at the stats of the Bee Swarm spell, we can see that Really Soft gives this weapon a grade of epic and an efficiency of 20, which I actually think are very accurate stats for what this weapon is. This weapon is not the least powerful primary weapon and not the most powerful primary weapon. It's not some crazy overpowered weapon like some of the other guns in Pixel Gun 3D, like the Secret Forces rifle or the anti-hero rifle. It's just a very good weapon it's a little bit more than average, and it does pretty well even up to the max armored players. But the thing that makes this weapon so unique, the reason why this weapon is a very popular weapon for a lot of the players in Pixel Gun 3D is not its 80 firing rate, is not its 1 capacity, and it's not its 110 mobility. And by the way, do not be confused by that one capacity. That capacity is the same with all of the spell weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. That basically means that you don't actually have to reload this weapon. So you basically go up until you run out of ammo with this weapon, which is actually a benefit with this weapon. Now, the thing that makes this weapon so unique is its special ability. And that goes the same with a lot of the other weapons in this most recent 11.0.0 update. The special abilities are what makes these weapons so cool. And this is basically the homing missile ability. I can't really call these things homing missiles because they're basically just bees. This is a weapon which is a spell. And you basically have a spell which casts angry bees against an enemy player. If the bees see the enemy player, well, the enemy player is in bad luck because these bees are going to attack them. Now, as you guys can see, they aren't the most powerful bees in the world. They do take quite a few shots before you hit an enemy player. And if the enemy player has a very powerful weapon like the anti-hero rifle or something like that, they're probably not going to be able to withstand up against that weapon. But if you can manage to get a majority of your shots to hit the enemy player, and for some reason they aren't the most accurate player in the world, you will find that you will actually get some pretty good gameplay when using this weapon. Now, if you use this weapon against the Ghost Lantern, you're probably not going to be successful against that. So just understand that there are quite a few weapons in Pixel Gun 3D that will be able to beat the Bee Swarm spell. And because of this, this is probably not one of those weapons where you can actually win matches consistently at the highest level when using it. You can get pretty far up there, you can get in the top four, maybe even in the third place position, but do not expect to actually win matches when using this weapon. But for right now, I am in a Colosseum match. Actually, Colosseum is one of the better maps for this weapon. This weapon does not perform the best in a map like Silent School because people tend to use a lot of the other area damage weapons. They use the Ghost Lantern a lot, and for some reason, people don't use them as much in the map Colosseum. So that is why this weapon works better in Colosseum as opposed to some of the other maps in Pixel Gun 3D. But as you guys can see, it's probably about a four to five shots. And the biggest problem with this weapon is with its homing missile or homing bees, I should say, they basically go for whatever player is the closest to you. So technically, if you were firing at the person that I was firing at right here, and I'm firing, 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 and I'm almost about to kill him, and for some reason, somebody off to the left-hand side of me gets a little bit closer than that enemy player that I'm firing at, all the bees will divert to that other player, and it will basically take a lot more kills just to kill one single player. So you have to be careful. You have to make sure that you are getting pretty up close and personal when using this weapon, so you can be sure that the little bees that you are firing from this weapon will actually hit the enemy player that you are aiming at. Because if you don't do that, then you'll find that the bees are going for the players that you're not actually aiming for, and at times that can be a bit of a problem. But I absolutely love the idea. This is a very creative weapon, honestly. The weapons in this 11.0.0 update are some of the most creative ones ever in Pixel Gun 3D. Like this one, the pencil thrower, things like that are very, very unique. And that is why I like weapons like this so much. 
I don't like this weapon for the fact that this weapon will just absolutely destroy every single player that you come in contact with, because it won't. I mean, as you guys can see, I'm not getting the best gameplay in the world. I'm getting kills, and that's really all that matters, but I'm not getting the best gameplay in the world. Somebody who has the trapper is obviously going to be able to beat me. The reason why I like this weapon so much, and the reason why I actually would highly consider getting this weapon, if you aren't really looking for just a purely powerful weapon, is just because this weapon is so unique, and it's honestly a lot of fun when using. Now, the only other weapon that has this ability is the Smart Bullet Bazooka. And the reason why I would choose this weapon over the Smart Bullet Bazooka is because Smart Bullet Bazooka is a very overpowered weapon. It takes a lot less shots to hit and kill an enemy player with that weapon, and I honestly feel like it's not as rewarding when you get a kill with something like the Smart Bullet Bazooka as opposed to something like the Bee Swarm spell. So, I mean, it's really all up to your decision. Honestly, if you're just purely going for the homing missile type weapon that is more powerful, obviously the Smart Bullet Bazooka is the better option out of these two, but if you're looking for a weapon that's more fun, you gotta go with the Bee Swarm spell. It is an absolute blast when using. You just you just hold down the firing button and see how many players you can kill before you end up fin finishing a match. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, I did mention this earlier with that one capacity. That capacity basically is whatever the amount is when you first spawn into a match. So you have a capacity of around 40, I believe, something around like that, 40, 50, and that is the actual capacity of this weapon because you never need to reload. I mean, as you guys can see, I'm just holding down the firing thing, and I never need to reload when using this weapon. So that's kind of a cool thing. I mean, I like the spell the spell weapons in Pixel Gun 3D because you don't actually need to reload when using that, and reloading can kind of be costly at times. Reloading can kind of mean your death a lot of the times when playing in a match in Pixel Gun 3D. So having the ability to not ever need to reload when you're going up against another player who actually has to reload themselves, you'll be at the advantage when they are reloading. So that's a great feature with this weapon. But as you guys can see, Colosseum is by far one of the best maps for this weapon. I, I mean, the only time in Colosseum this weapon really does perform well is as you guys can see, like I said, it doesn't really need to reload. So what you do is once you spawn next to the hallway, go aim down the hallway from either side and just hold down that firing button. People are bound to come out from inside the bathroom and other areas, other classrooms, other parts of the map, and once they do get into that hallway, you will be able to kill them with the Bee Swarm spell. So that's, that's the cool thing about this weapon. You can basically just spray and pray, and this is like a spray and pray homing missile. I mean, that, that's honestly kind of what a lot of the homing missiles are, but this is really a true spray and pray homing missile in Pixel Gun 3D. And I've also found it does work very well for taking out turrets in this game. So hey, if you're looking for a good turret takeout weapon, this might be the one for you. But on, in all honesty, guys, overall, if you're purely looking for a weapon which is powerful, if you're looking for a weapon in the primary section that just absolutely annihilates everybody and can guarantee you a win all of the time, this probably isn't the weapon for you. There are better weapons in the primary section than this one. And if you're really looking for a homing missile, then you're probably best off with the Smart Bullet Bazooka. As much as it pains me to see that, because I always get annoyed whenever I see somebody using the Smart Bullet Bazooka, it, it is honestly the better weapon out of the two. But I really do enjoy this weapon just because it's so much fun, and it's a lot more fun than the Smart Bullet Bazooka, and that is the reason why I will be using the Bee Swarm spell a lot more than I will ever use the Smart Bullet Bazooka. Now, I haven't actually reviewed the Smart Bullet Bazooka yet, and if you guys do want me to review that, then, like I said at the beginning of this video, then you guys can comment that, and I can do that for the next video, and I may even do, like, a comparison video between these two and see, really, which one is the better one. I mean, the Smart Bullet Bazooka is better with stats, but if you put price into consideration with both of these weapons, it might be a little bit more of an even match between these two weapons, and we really have to do a full comparison video to see which one is the better one out of the two. But I really like this weapon, guys. I mean, as you guys can see, it does get you some pretty decent kills in Coliseum. I actually won the last match, surprisingly, which doesn't really happen all that much, but it did, and I'm really happy that that happens, and uh, it's great to actually have that happen during a video. I mean, I love having a spray and pray type of homing missile weapon. It's great. It's great to just hold down the firing button and just watch those bees taking out the enemy players. It's it's actually a really, a really great thing to see it doing that. I mean, it's really cool. I just love having a bunch of bees 
taking people out. I've had experiences in the past with bees that aren't all that great. I remember a long time ago, probably at least seven, eight years ago. Um, I live in Florida, and there is a very big problem with yellow jacket nests. Those are basically like a pretty bad version of a wasp. So, you know, wasps are kind of kind of close to bees, and they have these nests underground. And basically what happened was I was playing around in my field with my friend and I ended up kind of stepping in a little hole and basically what that was was a deep underground yellow jacket nest and that was not a nice thing. I, I ran out of there very fast and I and I luckily didn't really get stung. I think I got stung once but it wasn't all that bad so that was that was a good thing about that but uh, yeah guys bee swarm spell fantastic weapon that I absolutely love and um, it's great. No, it isn't a ne is it isn't a necessary weapon. I mean, this isn't really one of those weapons where you got to have it and I'm just telling you guys this that you just need to have it if you want to be a true Pixel Gun 3D player because it's not. You can do without this weapon perfectly fine. But if you just want a fun weapon that is just, you know, one of those weapons that you use more casually and you're not going to necessarily win matches when using, then go right ahead and get this weapon because I honestly think this is a great weapon in that aspect. It's not one of those weapons where you're going to win consistent matches. I don't think I'm going to win this match, as a matter of fact. But you can get some pretty decent gameplay. And, I mean, hey, if this weapon didn't reward you a single kill, I'd be saying otherwise, but it does get you some kills, and that's really all that matters. As long as you can get a couple of kills with this thing, then that's really all that you could ever ask for, for something like the Beast Swarm spell. So the match is finished, and I got, I think, second place, second or third place. I got in the second place position, very close to first place, so I definitely would recommend using this in Coliseum if you did get this weapon purely for actually winning matches. So if you wanted to use this weapon in a match where you did win, go into Coliseum because that's the best map for this weapon, at least in my personal opinion. Pool Party is alright, although at times people do tend to use very overpowered weapons in Pool Party, and if somebody uses something like the Ghost Lantern in Coliseum, it's just not as effective in Coliseum as Pool Party. It's a lot more effective in Pool Party than it is in Coliseum, especially in Silent School as well. It's a lot more effective in Silent School than it is in Coliseum, and that is why, I mean, you have a better chance at actually killing people with the Beast Swarm spell in Coliseum because you may end up living a bit longer when you first spawn into a match than you would with in Silent School or other maps like that. But, um, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I really don't honestly have that much else I need to say about the Beast Swarm spell. You don't really have to worry about running out of ammo all that much. I did just then earlier, but as long as you kill people and you pick up the ammo drops, then you should be alright when using this weapon. I mean, at times, you will run out of ammo. I'm not going to say that this is one of those weapons where you will never run out of ammo, like the charge cannon. That's one of those weapons where I can confidently say you will never run out of ammo when using. I mean, but you will, at times, run out of ammo. It's not that common, as you guys can see, though. You will die a lot when using this, and you most likely will die before you have a chance to actually run out of ammo, but uh, maybe if you are just a super, super talented Pixel Gun 3D player who can manage to just last an exceptionally long amount of time in Coliseum or Silent School or Pool Party, then you may end up running out of ammo when using this weapon. And that is why I'd say, like I said, stay away from Silent School and Pool Party because those are maps where you generally, at times, if you spawn in some of those far outreach places, um, you will be alive for a little bit longer than you will with in Coliseum. Now, like I said, if you go into the hallways in Silent School, you will die a lot faster, but, uh, overall, um, just stay in Coliseum. Um, that's, that's what my main message is. Stay in Coliseum, and you should be good when using this weapon. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's my overall review in the Beast Swarm spell. My overall rating for this weapon, in terms of actual power and stats, I'd give this weapon like a 6.5 or a 7. Um, in Coliseum, this thing would probably be about a 7.5, and um, if I was rating this weapon on terms of actual enjoyment when using this, I'd give this weapon a solid 9 to a 9.2 maybe out of 10 or something like that. So it's a very, very fun weapon, and that is why I would recommend getting it. That's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much it for my review on the Beast Swarm spell. I really hope you guys did enjoy this. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. I would really appreciate it a lot if you did, and make sure to go check out my other reviews that I have done on the weapons from the 11.0.0 updates. I will have them linked down below in the description, so you guys, when you do your comments of your next weapon review preference, 
you guys won't end up commenting something I have already reviewed. I've re already reviewed the Bad Doctor, I have reviewed the Dual Laser Blasters, and I have reviewed the Charge Cannon. So those are the weapons that I have reviewed so far. And now the Beast Swarm spell. There are quite a few other ones that I haven't reviewed yet, like the Minigun Pistol, like the Toxic Bane, the Heavy Shocker, the Pencil Thrower, and I think maybe like one or two others. So there's still there still are quite a few other weapons that I haven't reviewed yet, and those could all potentially be the next ones that I review. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all. You know what? I might as well just go until the end of this match here. I think I might potentially win this match. I'm, I'm getting a pretty decent gameplay right now, so let's just go up until the end of this match here, and we should be good. I'm gonna go for, like, the last 10 seconds, and then we'll just end it right there. So I think I'll probably at least get into the top three. If I don't get into the top three, I'm actually gonna be very surprised, but uh, we'll get this last kill, and this match is just about over. So let's see if we got into the top. I think we got third place. I'm pretty sure we got third place, and let's see. There we go. So yeah, third place. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.